It will go away, and as I say, we're rounding the turn, we're rounding the corner. It's going away. I will take care of this. I will end this. I will make sure we have a plan. President Trump and Joe Biden delivering two different final arguments on COVID-19 and the issues facing Americans. The last night or last night's final presidential debate was a stark contrast to the first because the candidates didn't speak over each other and they were able to actually lay out their policies. They actually went through a lot. Yeah. And now they're focusing on meeting as many voters as possible over the next 11 days. Margaret Brennan, host of CBS News Face the Nation, joins us from Washington, D.C. And Margaret, great to see you. What, what do you think the campaigns are focusing on here in the final stretch? This final stretch is about trying to drive up turnout, uh, to drive up enthusiasm. And that is why Democrats in particular are pulling out the big guns, so to speak. You have uh, former President Barack Obama hitting the campaign trail for his uh, former uh, uh, colleague, Joe Biden. Uh, he'll be out in the state of Florida, the very key state of Florida this weekend to campaign. Um, that state is also where President Trump is spending time today. Uh, President Trump is focused <laughs> in today on uh, senior citizens in particular. Um, for the Biden campaign, though, they are keenly aware that while Joe Biden and Senator Harris have a lead in some very key states that decide the outcome of the election, that margin is narrow. And so they are really trying to keep an edge while President Trump is trying to chip away at it. Now, Margaret, they had sort of the unexpected news conference the other night, the director of intelligence and the FBI announcing that they found instances of foreign intervention or uh, interference in the election. What do you think it means for the campaigns and ultimately for the voters? Well, this is interesting to have the intelligence community disclose so much up front um, because they are walking a fine line. They don't want to undermine confidence in the voting process, but they're also trying to arm the public with information. That is what the FBI director was laying out uh, in his description of what was happening in Florida uh, and a few other states with voters receiving these spoofed emails that were basically trying to undermine confidence in the vote and to dissuade voter turnout. Those were uh, focused in, um, in, in particular in, in some key states and it was Iran that was behind that hacking. Iran was quickly sanctioned uh, to punish them for that action. But we have not heard from the administration what they are doing to stop Russian interference, which we know the intelligence community said again this week is happening. Uh, and it is about spreading misinformation, disinformation. So don't let yourself be manipulated as a member of the public. Uh, but they also highlighted that Russia is hacking into uh, state and municipal government networks. And their concern is it could threaten election infrastructure, but they warned it is not at this point. Um, so there are things to be aware of, and we'll talk to the National Security Advisor to the President, Robert O'Brien, about it on Sunday. And Margaret, we know you're also speaking with former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb Sunday. He's been such a terrific resource during the pandemic. What are you looking to hear from him? He really has, and uh, this is just stunning. Um, the about uh, the, the spike in infections that we are seeing going into um, what could be a very dark uh, fall and winter in this country, particularly in the Midwest. So we will talk to Dr. Gottlieb about that. Uh, we're hearing from states like Missouri and also uh, from Ohio and elsewhere that uh, you know hospitals are really getting stretched thin again. We want to talk about supplies. We want to talk about. Um, treatment in the near term because we still know a vaccine won't be delivered to the public for some time even if it is successfully discovered uh, within the next few weeks or months. Mm. So we'll talk to Dr. Gottlieb about all of that and to be careful this Thanksgiving. Yeah. Still so much to cover and worry about with this pandemic. Margaret Brennan, thanks so much and you can watch Margaret on Face the Nation every Sunday at 10:30 on WBZ.